Thank you very much for finding time to join us here on KBC Channel 1. My name is Amos Sogweri. Now today in Code 254, we are talking about education system and creativity. Now that brings me to a question. Do you think our education system here in Kenya is the one promoting or stifling creativity among students? I'm Jacob Odari, a student from Nairobi University taking BSc Chemistry. Generally, I feel the education system in Kenya is somehow promoting the creativity in, uh, among the youth and the students as general. This is because if you look at the curriculum, we have the co-curriculum uh, and then we have the curriculum-based activities in school. So the co-curriculum generally supports the social practices like maybe the music, which is also part of the creation, the sports and others. My name is Maureen Oguda. Uh, our education system kills creativity of students. Uh, why am I saying this? Initially, the ed education system that we had initially was providing for uh, subjects like art and craft, home science, music, and these subjects were really helping and productive because uh, the, the pupils and the students were being taught on how to use their talents how to use their hands and how to use even their voices, for example, music, uh, yes, in uh, the real life situation. For example, when they finish, uh, when they, they cleared their education, they could use these talents that they were taught in primary school and secondary school to earn a living. The idea of creativity here, it's a very critical issue within the Kenyan context because the only thing we are engaged in or we are doing is pure theories. Unlike the previous, even in primary people are doing HIV, where they are doing, a, sorry, art and craft. They are doing maybe uh, civic education. They know their rights. So in our context, it's very crucial because uh, we are not focusing on real issues, but we are just dealing with practical, with the theories. So anyone can be a teacher because we have all information within the internet systems. Someone can sit down and Google the information. But the real thing we want is real creativity. We want people who can go to the field and work, not people who can go to the field and wander, because they just have uh, theories. If you check at the curriculum, the system of the school, you find that they are trying to bring in other activities like the music festival. We have sports which are being brought in within the, the curriculum. So at that particular time, you find that those people are talented in different fields. They get the opportunity of expressing what what they really are. So from that point, they can start developing their talents slowly by slowly until it becomes real them, the thing they really want to be. Yeah, and then apart from that, the talents developed out of education, or it is developed within education, you find that you can you can use your talent anywhere because you don't lack language. You find that some people, they really lack the language, but they have the talent. If I focus on the high school, uh, our education system is not as good because one, Students are grilled to pass exams. They are not given the practical uh, practicals that they, they deserve. So you find that a student works so hard to pass, not to get the skills that they want. The education system in Kenya is rotten. It is killing students' creativity. And right now, as we speak, many students, more than half of the students who sit for KCSE and KCPE exams, they fail terribly. That means there are students who are very good in practical work than theoretical work. Whenever, in any time they will come up with a, a practical kind of education system, I, 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 I think this, can, this country will go far. 844 system of education has really, uh, it has uh, diluted our education system. It, uh, it is not productive as such. And currently there are parents who are not taking their kids to schools. For example, there are two parents, there, there are couple who is, uh, they, they teach their kids at home, they have two kids, they teach these kids at home. For example, if they maybe take uh, how to fashion and uh, how to make hair, they teach these kids how to braid, how to plate, and these kids get access to the internet and they are not 
maybe these these computers they are not using them for games for computer games or such things they use them to study and after getting into the internet they google the hairstyles that are available then they come up with a new thing then they do they they do the the, the hairstyle and actually the first born is eight years old the second is five years old but this eight year old kid can do her mom's hair uh, plate it and uh, and styles it education is an unbearable thing it's well to remember from time to time that nothing is worth knowing can be taught. My name is Amos Ogweri and that is code 254 for today. Let's meet again tomorrow.